If I had a hammer, I'd hammer in the morning, I'd hammer in the evening, all over this land, I'd hammer out copper, look at all those nuggets, I, I, got, I got a hammer, hold on, I want to put it in my hand, put it in my hand, I got a hammer. I don't know if it's safe to try to hammer stuff. Here we go. I got a hammer. Check me out. I was hammering the sand. Everything's fine. How's everyone doing? It's me, Ira. That's my name above my head. And I'm holding a hammer because I made a hammer. That's right, folks. Uh, between last episode and this one, I went out and did some more exploring. I actually did not take very long at all to find more clay. And in fact, I still have plenty more clay, I think. Still got 12 units of clay, so I can make, uh, I'll probably use it to make some more ingot molds. I think that's the most interest, uh, the most useful thing I can do. I don't need any more tool casting molds, because I can, uh, smith all of the other copper tools that I need. Um, already got the animal mold. Obviously, I've got the hammer. I've got a, uh, uh, what's it called? <laughs> a crucible? There we go. Words are fun. Words are easy. I speak English very well. Um, I might make, you know, maybe another pot for food. We'll see how many things I can make with that clay. But right now, what matters most is I can now finally, finally, uh, start properly with copper. And because I found this pick in a vessel that spared me from having to make the anvil first, basically what the plan was, was I make what I made, make the crucible, make the anvil mold, make the hammer mold, and make at least one ingot mold. Then I would have to find enough copper nuggets on the surface, not only to make the hammer mold, which is 20, but to make the anvil, uh, to make the anvil, which is, uh, it's nine ingots, which means 1800, you know, nine ingots is, hold on, nine times two, nine times 20, that's 180. I would have had to find 180 copper nuggets on the surface. Now I could do it, there's plenty of copper around. I turned up the rate of copper spawning a lot when I made this world. However, uh, it would have taken a lot more time and effort. So because I found the copper pick, I was able to just go find surface nuggets, mine the surface copper out from underneath it. And now I've got all of these chunks, which now that I have a hammer, I can break. And so what I need to do now is make the anvil. So that's gonna be a hundred, okay, that's, 600, so I need 300 more, which is gonna be that, right? Okay, so this is how much I need for an anvil. And then for fuel, I'm sure some of you out there were probably like, oh, you should have you should have started making charcoal so that you have, no, I don't need charcoal because right over there, let me, let me, let me go up here, let me give you a little, a little, a little view of my area here. Come up on the top, get a nice view. Look at those beautiful god rays. Sun has come up. Uh, so I've got my pumpkins down there. You'll see I've got my first pumpkin grown, which is pretty exciting. I've never actually had a pumpkin successfully grow in this game, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I've got my dirt area, which is huge. I've got so much dirt, it's awesome. We've got my few little rinky-dink farms here, which uh, now that I will have access to a saw so I can make wood and so I can make slabs of various types, I'll probably be getting rid of these and also be able to make a bucket so I can move water around and I'll, I'll, I'll make a nice proper farming area. Uh, and there's my first little pumpkin area, which is not great, but again, I'll be able to add uh, some more water in there, plant a couple more pumpkins. Um, down this way, if you can see in the distance, just above my cursor there, I built a little structure to help me remember. Uh, I found some surface lignite. And again, because I already had the copper pick, I was able to go down and mine up a whole bunch of lignite, which is plenty hot enough for copper. I'm gonna put that many, that's probably even more than I need to be honest, uh, because I have extended the burn duration. I have some of this delicious stew. Mm? Oh, there wasn't much in there, that's okay. I got some more there. Eat that, whoops, did not mean to throw that. Did I just, my cursor slit, there we go. Um, I'm gonna have to cook some more stew, but that's all right. I got some meat in there and I can hunt some more. Uh, I'll take you folks over there while that's heating up and cooking up. And I'll go show you, I just built a little, uh, a little mine entrance so that I can go down and get as much lignite as I want. And that lignite extends for a really long ways. And I think I also found another lignite nugget. Nugget's not the right word. I found another little bit of lignite on the surface uh, here somewhere. So. Either that vein is real, real huge, which may be the case, or there are several around. Uh, lignite basically seems to be pretty common. So no shortage of fuel 
Don't need to worry about that. The only thing I will need better fuel than that for is uh, when I start doing iron uh, slash glass. And actually, maybe not even glass, but certainly iron. Uh, and that's that's a ways down the road. So I just made a little structure here. Let me come down and we got plenty of lignites. This is just the start of the vein. There's plenty more heading that way. So uh, now that I have access to copper, let's go back around this way. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get that anvil made, and then I'm gonna smith up a whole bunch of tools. There's a hair. Yes, yes, delicious hair meat. Good meat. Good stuff. Uh, this definitely seems to be a hair spawning area right here, so I just keep coming down here every now and then once they've had a chance to spawn. Um, yeah, it's good stuff. Things are going well. We are at a point now where I no longer feel like there's any danger whatsoever of me starving to death, certainly. And um, there's, there's basically very little danger of, of, of any other issues. Starving to death was the main one. Monsters have started to appear. I have just finished the 10th day, so starting tonight we'll start to get drifters around. But uh, one of the first things that I'm gonna build, obviously I've built some little structures here. One of the first things that I'm gonna build is a saw, of course, and uh, then I can use that to make all kinds of wood stuff. I can use it to make doors to put on my little starter structure here, and then I'll start building a much nicer structure. And uh, I'm looking forward to building something cool. Um, I have put out episode, I think it's episode three, is now released, and I have read the comments on that, at least for the first couple of days. And uh, I think I've already addressed most of what people have said, but um, somebody said something, somebody, somebody wrote the words Ice Palace. And I'll tell you what, that's not something I had thought of, but now that I have had that idea put in my head, Ice Palace sounds like a good combination of words, and I really like that idea. I don't remember who posted it, sorry, but thank you very much for that suggestion. I will probably try to build an ice palace? We can't make ice bricks or snow bricks, which I wish we could. I don't have the skill to make a texture for that. If somebody wants to make a texture for that, I do now know how to add them into the game. Um, otherwise, I'll see what I can do with the materials that are available. This is all very exciting, folks. I'm gonna get some of this kind of grindy stuff done. That is way more lignite than it needs. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm gonna get some stuff done, and uh, I'll check back all in with all of you uh, once I made some more progress. And so I look out across my little domain here. You can see, so got that one full-grown pumpkin. Uh, we've got some cabbages very slowly starting to grow, very, very slowly on that uh, low quality soil, low fertility soil. Um, I've replaced a lot of stuff with wooden fences and uh, wooden slabs and things like that. Uh, the pumpkins are, are still growing basically with the this low fertility soil. There's not. It's, it's gonna take ages for anything to grow. I'm actually amazed that that pumpkin grew because I think that's the only one that has managed to grow without dying. Uh, but that's one little enclosure that's been sort of touched up a little bit. You take a swing over here. We've got this other enclosure. You see a lot of corpses in the ground. I've been killing drifters. Uh, and again, I, I touched it up, placed stuff with wood. Um, got planted some more seeds in there, but this pumpkin has been withering. It hasn't been growing anything. Uh, it doesn't seem to want to go out across the sand. Now this one went out across the sand, I guess, so that's just a coincidence it's not going across the sand. Um, I've cut down a lot of trees so they could get some wood. Coming over here, these crops are still growing. That's oh, another dang drifter. These crops are still growing, they're taking forever. They are going to take forever and forever and forever. There's more corpses over here. Here we've got the metalworking area, where you can see there are some ingots. More ingots down there. i got my metal tools. Um, my saw here, I've got a whole bunch of planks. And basically, at this point, I kind of, I kind of win, honestly. I mean, at this point, all I have to do, I, I don't have to worry about food anymore because I can just go out and hunt um, foxes and hares, which there's plenty of them around. They do spawn in this area and then just cook them up into stew, which keeps me going for a long time. Don't have any on me right now. 
Uh, I've got plenty of trees planted here. There's more over there. There's more over there. There's plenty of trees around, so there's no shortage of wood. And basically, there's there's no risk of starvation anymore. And I have all the tools that I need. So the next step would essentially be to go out and find some tin. I haven't found any tin yet. But go out exploring, find some tin nuggets, make some bronze. And then from there, progressing as usual to, uh, to iron, I guess. And, you know, could build up a nice base and just make it all look real pretty. Uh, somebody did mention an ice castle, as I, as I said before, and I, I thought about trying to do that. Oh, corpses are, corpses are popping. <laughs> I thought about trying to do an ice castle, and then I went into a creative world, and I tried to build one, and honestly, it doesn't look good. Because of the way ice works, um... It just looks like kind of an amorphous blob of ice when you try to build a structure out of it, and it you can't really tell what the shape is, and so it doesn't look nice. We would need, like, ice bricks or something, which, frankly, we don't have. Um, and I could try to mod those in, like I did with the, the, uh, what was it called? Was it bauxite? I think it was bauxite, the redstone. Uh, but it would be a lot more work. The, the, the bauxite one, I basically just sort of fiddled with some filters and stuff, combining the bauxite texture with the other types of brick and stuff. Um, but yeah, at this point, um, as I'm recording this, now of course, you're watching this in the future, this is old news to you, but in between recording the first part of this video and recording this part of this video, 1.12 was fully released, and in fact has been updated several times, so it's now at 1.12.2, and probably, uh, because Tyron tends to play a little fast and loose, with the, uh, the definition of stable, I'm expecting many more, um, many more versions to come out before too long. A lot of little hotfixes and updates and things. Uh, so what I'm probably going to do at this point, since this challenge was basically just to tide me over until 1.12 came out, I'm probably going to gonna call this one done, honestly. I don't think there's anything important that I still need to do here. Proven that this is doable. Unfortunately, I did have the one starvation death, but it was only the one. And you know what? I'm gonna jump in the bed and get some sunlight here. Just get some sunlight real quick. Excuse me. Just gonna take a nap. Um. But uh, in the in the other world that I did this, I did not starve at all. So it is possible to do this without starving with a little bit of luck. Uh, there is one thing that I want to try. There we go. Still not quite morning. Dang, dang hay beds. Dang, useless hay beds. Um, there's one more thing I want to try. There is a mechanic that I honestly forgot about. I don't normally use it because usually it's not that useful, frankly. Um, but there is a mechanic for panning. And I don't even honestly remember how to do it. I think I need clay to make a... Oh no, it's wood! You make the pan from wood. Oh, that's very easy. And apparently you can get clay this way. Do I have any logs is the question. Do I have any logs? I mean, probably. Somewhere. Got all kinds of stuff around. Sweet. Um, not have a knife on me. Let's go grab a knife. So, as a kind of closing... So many knives. As a kind of closing bit of this here. Let's see how, how it would go if I were to try to pan for... Uh, for clay. Is there any... No, there's no, there's no uh, handbook explanation for how to do this. I'm pretty sure you take, yeah, you take, oh, look at that. Oh, no, it takes the whole block. Okay. You take that, and then you, yeah, you just gotta, I, guess I probably don't have to stand in the water. Oh, no, you do have to stand in the water. Okay. I was wrong. You hold down right click. Now, this is a very um, wrist-intensive way of doing this. I'm gonna put everything up here, except for the pan. Grab that. <laughs> and, um... Apparently, if you're having trouble finding finding clay or whatever, you can do this as a way of finding clay. So we got a rock, it's clay stone, which makes sense because it's clay stone sand. Uh, so I'm just curious, you know, how many, how many tries is it going to take to actually get clay? How rare is clay? Presumably it is faster... There's some flint. Presumably it is faster than, um than searching for ruins containing clay. And I, I honestly, I just straight up forgot that this existed. I really did. I'm taking all the clay, all the sand from this area. I should go someplace else, right? I should go someplace else. Oh, there's one other thing that I wanted to do. 
uh, before I call an end to this. But for now, let's... Hopefully I'll remember that. <laughs> There's one last little treat. Just gonna run. Run, 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 run. We'll come over here and, and, and use these ones. So I'm not ruining my nice little base area, even though I'm basically done with the game and I don't think I'm gonna play it anymore. Uh, this world is, is basically done, I think. So you get mostly stones, clearly. And sometimes you get nothing. Okay, got to knock the snow off of there. I think it's interesting that you have to stand in the water. I mean... Seems like you should be able to lean down into the water. I guess it's easier if you're standing in the water, though. It's fine. It doesn't cost me anything. Oh, there's, a, there's a bit of copper. Interesting. I think you can, on rare occasion, get gears from this. Um... Maybe sticks? Maybe not. I'm not sure about sticks. So I just want to see, you know, if I can get clay. Was that quartz? Clear quartz. Pretty useless. Uh, but yeah, I want to see, like, you know, what do I get from this on average? More, more copper. Interesting. And uh, and how long does it take to get to get clay? Like, what what is the ratio of clay to other stuff? And then when you get clay, how much do you get? So maybe this is more efficient. Probably, if you can really get clay from it, it is probably more efficient than searching for ruins. Unless you get real, real lucky and find exactly the right ruins and stuff uh, right by your spawn when you start. But yeah, I did. I did wanna. I did wanna make a mention of this because if I forgot about it, I'm sure I'm not the only one who forgot about it. And if other people want to try a challenge like this, this may be a good way to do it. So I'm gonna do this for a bit until I get some clay, and then we'll see. Uh, what what the ratios are like Okay, so here's the thing <laughs> Cutting back in uh, here's the thing apparently you can use the, the sand blocks more than once you just the water washes them away Once they uh, have been used once so uh, make a note Protect the sand so you don't have to use up an entire sand block every time you pan And there we go, first piece of clay. All right, I've been at it for maybe about five minutes. Uh, so that's not too bad for, for one piece of clay there. Uh, not too bad at all, actually. Also, I am noticing that I have claystone gravel beneath me here instead of muddy gravel. Muddy gravel you cannot pan, uh, but I believe you can pan other types of gravel. So I'm gonna just grab a whole bunch of this. And just see if there's a, a difference in in how much uh, stuff you get. Just there we go. Um, goodness, goodness gracious! And just there we go. Oh, one more. There we are. Um, continue for a little bit here. Must stand. I am standing in water. I am for sure standing in water. Is it because I'm on the snow? Ooh, interesting. I think that's a bug. Hey, developers, I think I found I think I found a bug. We're standing on the snow in the water. It does not count as standing in the water. Probably, you know, take a look at that maybe. Maybe take a look at that. There we go. All right, so if we filled up the bar there, um, I'm gonna tell you what. I'm gonna go ahead and. Toss out some of this stuff. And stick the quartz up there. I'm gonna keep going for a little bit longer. I am just very curious about whether there's something different that I can get uh, from the gravel, or whether the ratios are a bit different with the gravel. If I maybe I'm likely to find more valuable stuff. Alright, I think that's good. I just did four of those uh, gravel blocks, which is I think 32 pans. Um, and as you can see in the bar down there, I got some more stones, some more copper, a couple arrowheads. No more clay. So it seems pretty clear that clay is a very rare thing to get from panning. So it is really a last resort. So if you're going to try this challenge, I would recommend probably um, exploring first around your area. See if you get lucky with some ruins. Uh, definitely loot all of the... Oh, perch tree. <laughs> definitely loot all of the dirt from any ruins that you find and hoe it with a stone hoe because, as you can see, grass doesn't grow here. Grass is not growing. Um, 
And then, yeah, if you, if you don't find any clay and you're starting to get desperate, you can start panning and it will probably be very tedious and wrist unfriendly because it's a lot of holding down the right mouse button. But it is possible there. All right, um, that's pretty much the finale there. That's pretty much it for this series. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is a special treat. Special treat for everyone now that we've done it. Uh, now that I'm finished and I'm probably done with this world is I am at long last going to open up the map. So let's hit M. If I can find the right key, there it is. Here we go. So first of all, here's my little homestead. Here's my little homestead. I got this whole area cleaned out. I think this is where I was just panning. Here's the farms and stuff like that. Looks pretty nice. Did I miss any ruins or anything nearby? Let's take a closer look. Sometimes you can see them covered in snow. That one I found. Obviously this one we can see from the start. That looks like it might be a ruin. That one looks like it's been dug out. I think I did a pretty good job, folks, of finding everything. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just jump into creative mode. No harm done at this point. I'm gonna lock the Y axis because I hate plummeting towards the ground when I look down. Uh, let's head, I'm gonna head towards here. I just wanna see if this right here is, uh, so that's this way. Wait, no, this way. I got all turned around. Uh, see if that's anything worth noting. Or if it's just, you know, some flint on the ground or whatever. It's foggy again, this fog, I'm telling you. I think this must be a very humid biome. So the fog is just ever present and it makes things so much harder. It makes it so much harder to see what you're doing. So it was right there. There's another fox. <laughs> Lots of foxes. I don't think this is gonna be a ruin to be honest, but I just wanna take a peek, be thorough. It might just be this tree. I've already passed it. I've already passed it, so I guess it was just some some rocks on the ground, huh? Where was that? I think it's this right here. Is this the spot I saw? Yes, it is. So yeah, this is just some rocks. What do we got? Oh, it's just some more uh, lignite. There's tons of lignite on this map. There's some more uh, flint there. And yeah. So actually, I did a pretty good job, I would say, of finding ruins and stuff just by walking around and using my own sense of direction and stuff, which is pretty cool. All right, my friends, uh, that is that is going to be the end of the series, and that is going to be the end of version 1.11. I will be updating to version 1.12. I will make a few tweaks, and then I will start a new single-player world challenge series in the jungle, as I promised before. Um, I have thought it over. I think I'm not going to allow any type of map or any type of coordinates. I realized that if I allow the mini map, it's going to show what direction I'm facing, and that's going to make it much easier to not get lost. So it's going to be totally, I want to see if I get lost. And if I do get lost, I want to see how I handle it. Um, by the way, before I leave here, um, let's, let's look at me flying. Whee! <laughs> before I leave here, um, I did want to let you all know, in case you are not aware, I have now a patron server, a patron vintage store server. I've had it for, by the time this video comes out, a few weeks already. Uh, by the time this video comes out, it should be updated to 1.12. Uh, it's got a, a couple of mods and tweaks on there. Uh, me and my patrons having a grand old time, and that will be open to all patrons at $5 and up per month. So if you want to play in a multiplayer server with us, with me, we'd love to have you. Check out my Patreon, the information is in the description, and I always have a little uh, announcement at the end of the video, some credits which has the address on it. Uh, we'll, be, we'll be delighted to have you to have you on board to join us. Um, and a very special thank you to Yasmin, my, 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 one of my top patrons of all time, who is in fact hosting the server for us, because she's awesome. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna shut this down, say goodbye to this world, and get installing version 1.12. Thank you so much for watching, folks. And I'll see you next time. Bye! Hey everybody, it's Ira, it's me. Thank you so much for watching the final episode of Winter Wonderland. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I've already started working on the next challenge series. It's going to be version 1.12.2, at least right now. And we're going to the jungle. And um, I'm really excited. It is a very different sort of challenge. It's very different... Difficult to see where you're going, very easy to get lost. I'm having a great time already, and I can't wait to share it with all of you, so make sure you check back for that one. See y'all soon.